going to <laughs> All right, I'm I'm almost done. I'm going to... You what? I'm joining that server that we always play on. Oh, unless you wanted to play something else. I I I thought we were going to check out the Halloween stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, cancel, cancel. Uh, well, I think I fucked up. Uh, before the, like, yearly Scream Fortress update, they do a tour of all the past Halloween maps. So whenever you're back to the main menu, I'll... <laughs> it won't let me cancel and it's like... Fucking just... Server is back secured. I think I fucking crashed it or something. Close. Close. Hey. Figure we check out some Halloween maps, then move over to the usual server. Because the usual server already has some Halloween maps on it already, to be honest, that I think we played on. Bum bum, I'm still in your group. Yeah, I started to search for a hollow, just the Halloween special event. Oh boy, there's a round ready for us. Go live. I go. I am live. Oh, I think we loaded into the zombie game mode. The infections. I haven't loaded in yet. Thirteen months. Me are on a team. It's probably going to be on the same team when I load in, but I haven't. I've like frozen, like my loading bar is frozen. It hasn't. Just a spectator mode. Oh, the the way these like zombie game modes work is usually you spawn in at the beginning of the round, and you gotta. And, uh, usually it's like you get to the end of the map, however long it takes to 
Like, we may be in spectator mode till the round ends. Finally got into the round though. Oh. gonna end or mission begins in yeah, this is one of those I'm bored, I'm yeah this is one of those weird game modes that they implemented using B script like I'm floating around it as a spectator right now. In ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I guess you just spawned in as an effective. I I haven't spawned at all. It, well, the chat says you have become infected. Oh! I think I'm in. On, yeah, th these are weird, like, round wave, like, round based game modes since we're zombies. So I got nothing but hand? Yeah, your goal is to infect the humans as a zombie, I guess. I think you just have melee. But... <laughs> I guess you get more time per infection. I'm sur I, I knew they added this game mode, but I haven't actually played it myself yet. This is one of the new things. Not even a in the game. I know where I'm going. There they are. Yeah, red's human, blues the zombies. I'm pretty sure this is all done using that V script, like I mentioned. Oh, they got an engineer that I'm gonna go run to the kitchen roof of my water bottle real quick. Doc. Oh, did you die? No, like, I can't see very well. Yeah, I don't know how these... <laughs> I don't know how the zombie game modes work. Oh, sorry, I'm talking to Dad over my earbuds. Good. Well, apparently, we, uh, my district alone has lost fifty-seven thousand dollars in the last. Saying whatever time period due to scam. Yeah. I'm hunting. Yeah, I'm guessing this is like Leopard Dead versus mode, but in EF2 or something. Like the different, I, I hope at least the different classes have different like mechanics. I don't understand. 
Oh, did I spawn in? Is that why they're yelling at me? I think I may have spawned in as a human. Nope, never mind. I was basing that guess off of the fact I could hear a soldier accused of spying. Oh, this game is not easy. Yeah, this is. I'm not. Mission ends in sixty seconds. This is like a V-script version of a uh, older community game mode. Uh -huh. Like, the other one is versus Saxton Hale, where one team is a single player that is a boss character named Saxton Hale. They're like holding up on this building in the water. I don't know why I haven't spawned yet. Kind of. Kind of lame. Oh, never mind. You got some infection, so time went up. Finally, get there just in time to die. Through a sentry gun. Yeah, they keep build. They keep running straight to that like logging building in the pond, and then building a turret on top. could I have spawned in? I don't know. Well, at least I'm here now. I, I don't know how long I could have spawned in. I was just, I was just waiting. Did you spawn as a human? I'm gonna follow it. I'm gonna follow the people that know how to play this map. Mission begins in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm infected. Uh, you got infected immediately, or you spawned as one of the first infected? I guess I just spawned as one of the first inspectors. I was I, standing there by. I think it's random somebody. whoever the first infected is. I was it just I was standing there and then. Did I infect somebody? Uh, you gotta come find us. Well, uh, I hit. Infected. Yeah, I was I was hitting red people. I gotta hit you with the with my attack, right? Yeah, it's true. I think you might have to kill to infect. I'm not sure. We're losing people, though. But, like, you got the kill, at least, I saw. We lost our engineer, so we might lose this building. Ah! There's so many scout zombies, this is terrifying! 
and it was brutally mauled to death by Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh, I'm the tank. That's cool. It is kind of like you have a secondary ability if you didn't know. What? What's the secondary attack button? I thought that was right. Tr I thought it was right trigger too. I don't. I've been blowing myself up with the right trigger. I turn blue and then blow up. I'm the tank, so I'm gonna just beat him. I just beat like two of them to death and knocked that human heavy out the window. I'm gonna check. Hold on. Keyboard. Combat. Secondary attack is mouse two. So I guess your ability is to explode as the demo man. Since I think Flash you're a demo ready. Yeah, that sounds like you would explode like you're a suicide zombie. <laughs> I just suicided myself. I got at the bottom of the steps and just suicided myself up. And I missed the steps and still killed somebody while I was flying across the water. I don't know how that happened. So I guess we figured out how to play this game, bud. I don't know why it took me so long to spawn the first time. That was weird. I think that was my fault, though. So we know... So this building seems to be, like, where... This logging I building. Idea the Samsung whistle. Mission begins in ten oh, they might have like a voice. Uh, Five, four, uh what do they call the voice? Bo not voice box. Voice. One. Voice. Program. Oh, I'm still human. Oh, you didn't run to the. Um. Keep them at bay so we don't fall. I guess. Or did they decide to try and fortify that building and we're the ones that are going to die? I'm human. The gargoyle has arrived. If they're blue, uh, destroy them. They came out the- they came around the back. Oh, they're throwing bombs? They have some abilities, I don't know. Oh, a scout just jumped at me, I am dead. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I'm out of ammo though. Are you still human? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where you are. I'm in the I, oh, the building everyone seems to love in the pond. I got infected. Yeah, we're gonna fall. This building seems to be where we make our last stand every time. Oh yeah, they just did a suicide bomber in and killed like It's like back for blood. Oh, I got a crit shot. Suck. Uh, I'm not gonna fall. Oh god, we're gonna fall. They broke my dispenser. Die, you fat bastard. No. <laughs> god, not the tank. What, man? <laughs> Like a fucking oh god, I am dead. I am I am dead. I am dead. I am oh, trying, god. but I am dead. I am trying, but I am dead. This is the I end. Crash or oh, did it? That sucks. Uh, check the laundry, babe, though.
No way, Where's there's the still here. Oh, there's like a scout left, Lamel. Mm. I think I just like do more damage and. Oh wait, I think I can like oh, hold it down. Good, How you doing? Yeah, this I don't know when you're coming and said hi. I join now. Hopefully you can rejoin. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Are we just like stuck on this map until we leave or something? Is that how this game mode works? Maybe. Like I'm not sure. Like, usually we would have gone on to a new map by now, I think, since we've done like three or four. I turned into a zombie in the middle of everyone. Yeah, that's what happened to me that one game. Oh, I guess that's just how it works. The first infected. Uh, you got the thing, the pop up menu. You might want to. Uh. There's a the delay. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I disconnect. Ooh, the, the snipers got a spit attack. Oh, God, no, that is. I'm gonna be eviscerated. They've got. Uh, Neon Annihilators. I don't know what my ability is, it doesn't seem to work. Bid farewell, cruel girl. World. I think you might be able to spawn in if you try to change your class. Or. Oh, yeah. I'm infected. Yeah, I think you were one of the first, but since you were in the. Gotta be tactical about this last assault. Be tactical about my yeets. Fill it out, puppy. I think I set. I think I set them on fire. I'm not sure what my. I'm gonna go. T Ooh. Demo man seems popular. What I can? Okay, engineer has an EMP grenade. Sniper has a spit attack, so I'll play a sniper. like a lunge attack for demo and you blow up at the end of it that is that his special attack yeah but if you miss you just kill yourself you're like the boomer from left for dead I, know, I guess that's a good analogy yeah it, all of them have all of them have kind of been like a left for dead zombie so far like sniper's got a spit acid attack like the spitter from left for dead Heavy's got the strength of the tank, like he throws people around with knockback, which is what the tank is for. I don't know, I think Pyro sets humans on fire, but I'm uncertain. 
Oh, I got stuck there before. I don't know why. I'm afraid to be in the middle of everybody if I turn to a zombie right away, or maybe the person next to me will turn to a zombie. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a new fear because I turned into a zombie while everyone was huddled up and died instantly. It Not happened me. again. <laughs> it happened to me again. At least I killed someone. Yeah, the infection goes on. I think my attack, second attack is just to light people on fire. Which is very dangerous for these the weak ones. Like, nope. Not if I get exploded by a French soldier. Yes, who would? What is? All right, so zombie soldier just seems to have a really long pounce. Wow, that is a very far jump. I, I almost jumped on the top of the logging building. I'm trying to get this vibe. Like, he might 1v1 me with his revolver. Yeah, he did. Wow. Are you in that, are you in that building? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You're the bad guy right now. Fair, fair. I only asked out of posterity because I do did already have your stream pulled up. <laughs> but, but that's just to like keep track and stuff. Yeah. I just go in and knock everyone around. That is what the heavy does. Oh, what? Oh, the scouts just got a passive speed buff. That's fun. Yeah, yeah that helps with jump height, too. Wow. I wonder we've got six of them. They were on the bed. They probably got... We just need more kills and more time. Oh! I just got killed, finally. Yeah, hey. where were you? If you don't mind me asking. Okay. Oh, I forgot the, ne the Annihilator special thing is it like completely erases and melts people who are wet. Oh, we're down to the last survivor. Oh, I see them. It's always this scout. Mission ends in 30 seconds. I swear this one scout manages to outrun us all. Yes. Do you like the zombie game mode? It's all right. It's not bad. I figure after next round we'll move on to a different map because we seem to be like locked to this one. Oh, there's no. There's no locker, so I can't change my loadout. Interesting. Mission begins in 10 seconds. I'm wearing my Halloween costume for TF2, my, my cosmetic. Who is it? Cosmetic. We got a zombie scout down here in the bottom. Do we have any engineers? We do, but he made a turret. Oh, 
going down. They got you. Oh, he's gonna explode. Oh, Lord. We got a mini turret. They, they like pop at the top of the stairs and run into our buildings. This is nightmarish. Those demo men are actually like scary. That double man. Yeah. They got me. They pushed me and they were, I like had no ammo so I ran to the dispenser and then zombies started funneling in. And they were just beating me while I was crouched hiding inside the dispenser. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, yeah, Try out the, the the demo man ability, see how fun that is. Oh like I wonder if we could hide in these mines the next time. Yeah. I was uh, fighting somebody in the mines when I was uh, it was actually pretty OP but like five of them bum rushed them and it was done. I was one of the first ones though so I went out pretty quick. I think I'm a... Yeah after this round we'll move on to... Yeah I'm a... I will leave this. Disconnect? Yeah. Leave. I don't know. I'm gonna take that map off. Uh, yeah. I took the that zombie map off so hopefully we'll get more variety next time or that just might be how the zombie game mode works I don't know yeah. This map is called Iaduck, King of the Hill. Okay. There's a giant skull. There, see, there seems to be a giant skull. Where's the hell? Uh... You hammering me? What? What did you say? Oh, that's five. 
I, I don't know why, but as soon as that's... Oh! Dang it! What even was that? My cursor oh, moved no. off screen. That's annoying. Like, my cursor moved off screen and clicked on Twitch. When I ran, like... Mm. Oh, what's there's a truce. I think this map might have Marasmus on it. No way, it has the eyeball thing. Monoculus. It has Monoculus. Oh, cool, you get to see my Halloween costumes now. Uh, during this little boss fight, we can't capture the point or kill enemies. Which is kind of... Increases the... how long the round takes. He's got one shot by that fucker. Yeah, he spits like laser beam rocket things out of his face. And now we can kill them again. Oh boy, that is a uber heavy. Oh, this one. This Halloween maps has portals to the underworld. If you escape the underworld, you get uh, like mini Ubered, basically. We have the oh, there's ghosts on the map too. If you walk into a ghost, it scares you, which is like basically a stun. Yup, I got scared. Oh, there's a... Never mind behind me <laughs> yeah I saw him walk up and then he died instantly I was like there was a spy and a scout running up behind you I just take so many bullets <laughs> to kill that one spy have you seen my Halloween costume yet or been able to uh, I saw you once. I'll run up. To try to come find you. Hold on. Dang it, you I'm died. <laughs> I was literally right behind you. You didn't have to do that. Oh, we all got teleported to hell. Since we failed, we got sent to the underworld. Oh. Yeah, that was an interesting map. Look, look, look to your... Look at me. Are you my mommy? I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... a Nazi zombie from Wolfenstein Old Blood. Because these are specifically the Wolfenstein crossover items. The helmet is in the shirt.
Oh, I got ghosts. All that dang ghost again. I just got rocketed. Oh, uh, he got ghosted this time, Lamau. I've got a dispenser up the on that. The says level three is lurking about. Be aware. He's the eyeball, the giant eyeball. Yeah. I that was a message that just come across. Sometimes two of them will spawn. I don't know what that means, but it's hard. Yo! Hey, Drew, I didn't see you there. How you doing? Yeah, the... These gloves make me run faster, so they're, like, better than the... Normal punching. Oh, the eyeball. Oh, the eyeball is... Oh, the eyeball acts as a portal to the underworld. I know, parkour. I can do this. Yeah, I did parkour. I can do this. Defeated! I'm dead. Yeah, as soon as he dies, you can start attacking the enemy. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I, I stream pretty infrequently, but I plan to start trying to have like a somewhat weekly schedule. We have secured the control point. Thinking about doing Wednesdays and Fridays and other alternating. Since it's a Halloween map, we can pick up candy bags to get Fritz. What do I pick up to get how? Uh, I think they look like pumpkin. Yeah, they look like little pumpkin tins instead of normal med kits. They have a. Uh, Let me find one on the map. Uh, there's also explosive pumpkins around the map. That up as like... In yeah, it's like a little pie. Like a pie tin or something. I don't know how to describe it. Even though I have the zombie thing equipped, my hands are still flesh-colored in first person. But suspicious, suspicious. I'm killing Santa Claus. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh yeah, I gotta. The uh, my mini gun's festivized, so it's got uh. Let's see, I can. Uh, that doesn't work. I've got... 
Yeah, I got I got this item the the holy mackerel. I got this holy mackerel that's festivized and then I got uh this scorch shot for the pyro that's festivized. And this is the minigun that no one enjoys. It makes things slower for everyone involved. I don't know what I'm looking at. I just saw a spy with like a kunai floating in front of his face. Ah, he spawned above me. Oh, oh boy, he's launching eyeballs at me. My costume right now is zombie luchador. I, I think he's gonna be a level higher every time he comes back. No, I failed the parkour! I don't get the underworld bonus, no. Uh, I'm gonna switch to pyro. Uh, so I can pull out. There's a pumpkin with some dynamite on it. Yeah, those are the, uh, they spawn like around the map randomly. You can shoot them to deal damage. Like if there's an enemy, enemy standing by it, you can get them like an explosive barrel or something. That fucker just spawned above me again! An yeah, I don't like the giant Iron Man. He's very evil. That is canonically the Doma Man's missing eye, if you didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, he was cursed by the wizard Marasmus. You have to. There is a level three sentry right outside our base. They've got a heavy too. <laughs> yeah, they know how to. Oh, me and Santa just saw oh, Santa won that exchange. Yeah, I keep I keep getting into battles with Santa, and I don't know how to feel about it. Somebody. BTV Ada Flexi. I bet you they stream or used to stream on Twitch. Oh yeah, dot TTV or something. Yeah. Oh, there's a spy. Oh, spy's dead. Yeah, I just ate a rocket to John. the base. I wonder, do I have anything that would work as a Halloween costume for Pyro? I don't hmm. I'm already wearing a spacesuit, I guess that's good enough. I got killed by a sniper and he waved afterwards. Nice, nice. He taunted on you. That's the TF2 or cooler or key bagging. It's been nice if somebody had got him in the face with a sniper while he was doing it. But I understand why, because you get that zoom. That's kind of a, a boss move. Boss, I tell you. So the way this game is programmed, it is better for me to literally like uh like move side to side to try and get as much damage on the enemy as possible yeah i'm setting his eyeball ass on fire circle straight was 
Oh, I can't use the jetpack in the underworld. Something blows me into the water. What were you gonna say? Sorry. Oh, circle strafe was. They're using the. Used to be like that. They're using the time. They're using the time. Uh. The, the truce time to build teleporters near our spawn. Those oh, geniuses. I'm I'm dead. We can't destroy their building since it's a truce period. Those fucking geniuses. <laughs> yeah, he like teleports around the map. And leads behind portals to the underworld every time he does. I think I broke my legs in... How do I tell if it's our portal or their portal? Uh... Oh, the... Uh, it's the team color. It, w it should be the color of your team. I put on pumpkin head for Halloween. I have the nemesis, I think. Hey, you get killed three times by the same guy? I think so. People keep bringing. <laughs> the people's okay. first. Uh, what are you gonna say? I took out two fucking curves before I went out though. People's first instinct is to run directly away from Pyro, but I have the back burner, which does crit damage from behind, so I usually then immediately explode them. TTV Ada Plexi is dominating Hazmat. Oh, we failed, so we get sent to hell. Nothing like... I don't know, I don't think there's anything more TF2 than being sent to hell for failing, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, we get to vote for a new map, I swear, if it's the same map, though. Yeah, a new Halloween map. Uh, where's the game music? Fucking. Uh, huh? Oh, uh, I have, uh, talking to someone in chat that, uh, the streamer that I'm in their Discord and they're part of their community. Yeah, you know, you have to. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to remember how many active players it has. The Steam game, so like they should be Steam's pretty transparent. Not okay. like CFDs where it's hard to tell because Xbox Live doesn't release its its amounts. In the last sixteen, Steam. in the last sixteen minutes. 54,033 people were playing Team Fortress 2. And you can't play Team Fortress outside of Steam, can you? Uh, old console versions. Okay, so for all intents and purposes. For all intents really. and purposes, it is a Steam exclusive. 
Though this All version right. is a Steam so, exclusive. I'm, I would say the other ones would have zero to no online play really anymore. I don't uh, know when's the last time they released a console update for the console version. Never. Like is it? So that was all oh my game crash. Sixty right. I spent too long. Mm. Hey, yeah, there's the dude that dominated me last time. We're on the same team this time. So it shuffles the teams up? Yeah, it will uh, try to auto-balance the teams. Every once in a while, do, uh, there's mix-up, and then there's just auto-balance. Ooh, you got the achievement for killing Monoculus. But, uh, yeah, there's like 50,000 50, people play a day. Like, still, every day, 50,000 people. That's after they got rid of most of the bots. Like, all the bots. I haven't seen a that's single a, bot. That's a good-sized city. Yeah, the oh, person's three, like... Two, one. Why they never make Team Fortress 3. Yeah, I got your shot up. I saw it. Why am I still taking shots? Um, Valve. <laughs> yeah, Valve works on Valve time. By that I mean uh -huh. they're working in seven different directions uh -huh. on like 12 different things and they're going to release two of them and scrap eight of them and the other remainder four are going to be turned into 12 new things. You know? It's just how it works at Valve. I, I'm pretty sure they still don't, like, Half-Life Alex kind of woke them up, like, the first time they were like, oh, we should have structured teams, like, Microsoft in. I keep shooting the blues, and I'm on blue. Um... Yeah, I, I that happens to me. Sometimes I forget what team I'm on. It's like digital, okay. like, Digital shell shock. You just. I'm kicking ass and I'm shooting my own people. Oh. Hold on, I'm trying to. I'll just show you your game from the Steam. But yeah, it's like. Valve spent too long trying to make the Source 2 engine. And then they were like, ooh, let's make Half Life. Let's make Left 4 Dead 3 and Half-Life 3 before we finish the Source 2 engine. And you see how that went. Valve ever use somebody else's engine? Or do they always just make their own? Uh... Uh... They've always used a... Uh... The first ever Valve engine is a heavily modified version of the Quake engine. Called Gold Source, <laughs> and that's like I'm trying to join your game. I don't know why I can't just. It won't let me join you. It's just make. I'm gonna leave your party. There you go. But, like, yeah, Valve was just, like, the timeline is they released Half-Life to make the two expansions, cancel two different third-party studio expansions for Half-Life 2 that were going to be in Episode 4, since they never made Episode 3, they canceled all the Episode 4s. And then they realize, oh, we should make port. We need to make Portal Two. Like that, we just need to make a Portal Two. This we can't not make Portal Two. So they completely well, Portal Two. They could literally just handed the whole fucking engine over to fucking art assets and level design and said, okay, just keep using this because it's not like you needed a major update to the game engine for that. That you know was, yeah, I mean? like, uh, like, that, well, they Portal 2 is still... They should be able to release one of those every fucking year if they wanted to, just by creating new puzzles. 
as that he game was, didn't really he didn't have to worry about AI. You didn't have to worry about new strategies. It was just puzzles, man. So, like, God damn it, I was fucking ranting and got killed by a fucking See with with their 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 idea for the Portal franchise was it was gonna be puzzle franchise. It was gonna be just puzzle game. So the first idea they had was called F Stop, where you would have used cameras and time time dilation which we kind of still get that in the final game when we ha- when you like see the difference between the old aperture and the modern aperture that's all run down and reclaimed by nature <laughs> but then but, but 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 beta testers were like bro where's the portal gun i thought you told you portal gun give portal gun so they scrapped the idea and made the Portal 2 that we got, which is still a great game. Like, Portal 2 is really good. What is killing me? Oh, let me pull your stream up real quick. Do we, did we run into one of the only servers with bots? I thought they were banished. I'm still trying to join your damn game. I'm not sure. I'm going to just leave and relaunch the game. Since I'm having... Oh, are you teleport? I think you maybe teleport into the underworld or something where you need to make an escape. Because the way the underworld works is it drains your health to motivate you to leave. That's the only thing I could think of since you're just you went through a portal. <sighs> Yeah, he does. Chat says you got no knowledge on the game. It's mostly Valve games because they're like, I one of the Source Engine or Valve games in general are just some of my favorites. And also, it's just interesting. It uh, they like called up. Id and we're like, hey, can we have the Quake 2 engine? Id was like, yeah, here you go. Gave them an unmarked DVD or CD, whatever. I'm like a CD. Yeah, like whichever, them. yeah, whichever was just more prevalent at the time, I think. Like, might have been some floppies, fuck. Yeah, I mean, they, they just got the, the engine with like no. And they need to sign anything. Assets or anything, yeah. To be fair, though, it was um, John Carmack, which is really weird to say this because he worked for Meta, but he was really big on open source. I mean, he only worked for Meta because they bought the company he worked for. If you're talking about Oculus. I'm pretty sure he's a part owner of it. Yeah, they bought it. They, like, bought out. Because yeah. it was originally Oculus, and it was like the, the Oculus. God, what was your original? SV something something, I think. It, it, it what? It, yeah, but, that was uh, like the the name. Like there, it was the Oculus. It wasn't Quest series. I think it was Rift. Oculus Rift. But uh, I just can't join your <laughs> game. I'm not sure what the issue is. Okay. Disconnect, please. Yeah, the. I think we've just gotten too used to 100v100, or I mean 50v50. It's... Maybe play a little bit of the big one? Yeah, yeah, let's see. If... I was gonna say, let's see if we can get onto the big server for a bit. 
But, but... Yo, I'ma pull... Oh, I think I can pull stuff up on stream, right? God. Yeah, yeah, uh, Left 4 Dead 3 was going to be a open world base building looter shooter set in Morocco. Is that what That's... you would call, like, uh, uh, Data Decay, a looter shooter base builder? Yeah, it, it 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 does sound like it would have been State of Decay <laughs> similar, Days Gone, State of Decay, op like that open world craze that taken over the zombie game genre. Oh, uh, Planes is talking about starting up another Zomboid server. And enough people have asked him, and he kept pushing it off. I told him, I was like, all right, if you do it, I'll actually try playing at this time. It's if just a super difficult survival game. If you just don't like survival games, like, I want it. Well, he's going to have mods on it and stuff, and I asked him how hard it was to mod the game, and he's like, ah, oh, it's not hard at all. It's so... it's a Java game, so. If, if like, on a scale of... Super easy to not moddable. It's like on the easier side since it's Java. <sighs> and, uh... Yeah, they're about to release... I I hope they're about to release the big new update. That's gonna be a crafting and farming overhaul that adds animals. I hit the wrong one. Oh, join as soon as possible. I had the wrong one selected. But, uh... Here, let me pull up an article. Real quick. Comicbook.com, yeah, they're, they're, I hope they're good now. In the, in the final hours of Half-Life docu, of Half-Life Alex documentary created by Geoff Keighley, Jeff Keighley? Do um, you know which Jeff G E O F F is Jeff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Jeff Keeley's the final hour. It's a Half Life Alex. Valve revealed they were working on Left 4 Dead 3, which was going to be another co-op shooter. It was going to be open world. It w and it was also going to be set in Morocco. Like, that was the big thing. It was going to be set in North Africa and Morocco. But then they... 
then they had to give up because the engine wasn't done yet. So. They, they, uh, originally, they, they wanted to move to, they wanted to move to Unreal Engine, like, like, a bunch of people, uh, during, like, the, the big, I don't know, the, the, the big stretch between Half-Life Alex and their last big game. they were like going through a bunch of restructuring and now they like finally have a layered management system with like team leads and large country wide not country company wide mandates and such Which is how they actually got Half Life Alex finished and out the door. Like, at all. They had the entire company working on it at once. Well, I mean, that's what Rare was doing for the longest time with CFDs. And then they, they had a, a small team working on like Rare replays and stuff like that. If they and, make. Uh, if they make a Team Fortress 3. I want them to, so I think I may have explained this to you before, but when they were making TF2, they went through two to three different versions before finally deciding and finalizing the one we got. Yeah. And one of the versions was called TF2 Invasion. It would have been a steampunk sci-fi inspired uh team shooter like the one like like team team fortress like class based shooter Like, uh, it was just like a sci fi alien themed version of TF2. And I have I haven't been able to get into the server yet. Have neither. We want to go back to casual and leave this yeah, in the background. Play. Uh, maybe Please. just play a couple game, couple more rounds of casual and call it. Cause I was then figuring that the big ones take like half hours, so I figured maybe play one big one and then call it. But if a couple yeah. more rounds of the casual could work too. Oh wait, your team lead. Your your squad lead. I mean, you'll need to. Okay. You should you should convince. Casual. Since since you since you told planes you'll play Zomboid, you should tell them to download Team Fortress Two. <laughs> you are already queued for this mode.
Oop. My round is ready. So I may or I may have purchased a uh a while ago a one of the uh unusual cosmetics that have the special effects on them. My my space helmet has the uh, like ancient letters floating around it. Move the car. <coughs> and I'm always caught in loading. Did you, I assume you got in? Yeah. I'm yeah, loving. Kind of, I'm kind of bummed that Left 4 Dead didn't go on sale this ho this October. Hmm. Like, they're like 10 bucks each, but still. Like they that game crossplay. Uh, what do you mean by like cross? I don't think it is. I think With it's the too old. Left for death. Yeah. I think it, I. Yeah, I don't. I think yeah, it came out. The first one came out two thousand eight. It's got Hold on. So you know you know you were complaining about how Halo campaigns are short? I'm not really complaining. I was just saying like Well like complaining it out they, and like Yeah, it's like make nobody it. calls them out for it. And their fucking campaigns are short, man. Uh well Left 4 Dead, the first one, has four different campaigns. And Left 4 Dead 2 has 14. Six of which are from the original Left 4 Dead. But, uh, by the, that, I mean it has, like, all the original and DLC content from Left 4 Dead 1 in Left 4 Dead 2. But like... Like they read... They didn't just like port the Left 4 Dead 1 campaigns into Left 4 Dead 2. They remade them. They redid them. For Left 4 Dead 2, for some reason. At least I heard they were redone. Man, why is why is this map so laggy? Oh, I think we played this one before on the Shunik, the big server. This one popular there, I think. Is I. I think it is, I don't know, I just walked through an asylum. But, uh... 
I think my favorite Left 4 Dead campaign is the, like, just the first one of the first game, Mercy Hospital. Also, like, you can technically play all of Left 4 Dead 1 in Left 4 Dead 2, but, like, uh, there's left, like, there's, it's, like, got the new Left 4 Dead 2 zombies and stuff, and, uh, also, Left 4 Dead 2, like, had a big update, like, a big final update back in 2023 where they added a bunch of cut dialogue and stuff. So it was, like, a, it's, like, a different way to play Left 4 Dead 1. They also have a, in, in Left 4 Dead 2, there's a campaign where you can play as all of the characters and it's like a crossover campaign and they recorded new dialogue with the Left 4 Dead 1 crew to interact with the Left 4 Dead 2 That's crew. Cool. Yeah, it, it, the Left 4 Dead characters are like very, they're, it, they're a lot like the TF2 characters. They're very simple, but very iconic and enjoyable like you'll probably have like uh in left 4 dead one you can play as bill lois L L lewis uh zoe or francis francis is a criminal biker that's his character he hates everything too that's his one joke he hates everything he hates zombies, he hates- oh, he also thinks the vamp- the zombies are just vampires. He doesn't think they're zombies. Well, they're not called zombies, they're called infected in Left 4 Dead because zombie media refuses to use the Z word. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah, it's um, technically not the only like- way for zombie, uh, media to work is if they have no understanding of what a zombie is, so why yeah, would they call yeah, it? It's te yeah, and they're technically not even, like, undead. They have this thing called the green flu that is a rapidly evolving strain of rabies. Or, like... Or, or mad cow disease. Un they don't, they, they kind they, they don't specify. It's a thing. It, it's an arrow sickness. It comes in the air. Which is why so many people turn to zombies. Because, you know, if it's an arrow... Thank God arrow toxins aren't real. Like, they, they're not real. They're, like, fictional sicknesses and stuff. But, like, stuff can transmit in air through real life. Real life but in, like, Left 4 Dead, it was, like... It changed every day, like, first it was in the water, then it was in the air, then it was in the animals. So they burnt all their cows, then it was in the... Then you can transmit it between people. And then you have these these people called carriers that are immune to the green flu, but can still transmit it to other healthy people. Which is so a concept that, that happens with real... Which, is, which does happen with, like, real diseases, like, so it's not, like, actual undead, it's just, like, their body's been hijacked, their brain is corroded to animalistic intent. Like, you're more likely to be beaten to death by a left or dead zombie than eaten by one. That, that's just the- I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. I don't make the rules, I just break them. I mean, to be fair, like, uh... This sickness starts to mutate, which is where the special infected come from. Like, the tank, the boomer, the... Hunter, the... Jockey, the witch, Charger. 
bitter. I believe that's all of them. What I find really interesting are the cut special infected, which like were never they were never really modeled or anything, but there's some pictures of them. There is going to be a special infected called the Screamer that, as its name suggests, would, upon sighting the player, start screaming and alert the horde. He would also run away from you to make it harder for you to stop his screaming. Valve didn't implement it because it was deemed too difficult of a enemy concept for what they were going for. Yeah. But, and, uh, there's another, spe there's another cut special infected simply called the Rat King that would have spewed rats from its body. Isn't, isn't that fun to imagine in a zombie game? Yeah, I've got... Yeah, there you go. Something up? Yeah, I had two hit points, and I couldn't find a fucking medic to save my life. Oh yeah. Uh, I found a medic, he healed me, and then I wasted those hit points. <laughs> oh, I got Uber. I'll use this Uber to deal as much fire damage as I can before I brutally explode and die in a pool of gore. I don't know something kind of funny. Padre. Huh. The demo man has a full pimp outfit. Don't know what you think about me. But I'm a motherfucking D.I.M.P. It's kind of funny because he's from Scotland. So it was like... And also, it just, like, does not fit him at all. Because even though they're, like, very simple characters, they still have, like, somewhat of a person, a distinct characterization due to the, like, videos and comics and stuff. Like, I think I said this, but Heavy has a literature, has a PhD in Russian literature. <laughs> Ah, uh, I can see why he became a soldier for hire with that degree. Put him kisk. Yeah, see, uh, also he's like, his father was a counter-revolutionary, so his entire family was sent to a gulag. But they ran away and lived in the mountains. So that's why he that's actually like kind of related to why he became a mercenary is so he could send money to his family in the mountains Also fun fact heavy names every single one of his miniguns with a traditionally Slavic first name <sighs> I was killed I was killed The the stock minigun is named Sasha. Sasha. Yeah, in my the the minigun I like to use is named the Natasha. The Tommy Slav I believed is named Svetlana. And then the brass beast is named <laughs> yeah, the brass beast is called Oxana. I think those are all the ones with names.
Oh boy, oh boy, we get to defend. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Oh, fun fun fact about uh, Team Fort 2. There's this thing called the reference pose or uh, A pose glitch. I don't know how you do it, but if you do the right combo of button presses in actions, you'll get stuck in a T pose or an A pose, depending on what class you're playing as. I mean, you can still do everything. It just looks funny. And it's called the reference pose. Because it's, uh... Like the... When the engine's calling up the model, that's its natural pose. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, my s oh yeah, I seem to be dropping frames. On the stream, but... Uh. If, if you're still there, Drew, I hope it's still watchable, at least. Seems okay, I'm like I don't know, it's just telling me I have some drop frames. And I noticed that when I was wa monitoring it on Twitch, it was in, like, uh, live stream mode. I'm fighting a dragon. Oh god, there's two. It's Crazy Dave from Plants vs. Zombies! I love that game. Kind of really sad that it became like every other mobile game series. And it's now filled to the brim with ads and pay to win crap. Like, there's, not to, like, uh, get, like, start a conversation about game dev and stuff, but, like, old app games used to be, like, a place for indie devs to, like, actually be successful, too. Like, the install beginning. base got big enough, but I yeah. understand exactly what you're talking about. Like, it but used to be... Base, yeah, like, where you'd go try your little weird games and... But now it's just, like, most mobile games are now, like, at, filled with ads or pay-to-win. They've settled into being, like, the same three companies making every game, basically. Like, Gameloft. I don't know how Gameloft... I was about to bring... I was gonna bring up game law. They got the rights to. Oh god, who did they get? They got the rights to. They made the Disney game. They, ma they made. They're not exactly Dis a small company anymore, man. I know, I know, but that that I I wasn't calling them indie. I was just saying like they're one yeah. of the. They're responsible for the instantification of the app store. No. Oh. But weird fact, there's been like three different Spongebob, new Spongebob games that have come out recently. And one of them is basically Goat Simulator, but you play as Patrick. Th like a... something I want to play. <laughs> it, it is, like it doesn't have, it's like a physics, it's a physics sandbox game like Goat Simulator. But you're Patrick at Bikini Bottom, and you have, like, different... You can only, like, use, like, hold one item at a time, but you can use several different items to travel. Like, uh, the leaf blower from that one episode. Or the box from that one episode. Or the dumpster from that one episode. Or the boats from... It, or the boat cars from, like, every episode, because that's just the natural way of transportation. Uh, and then, like, the game only ends when you go do the final thing at 
like this one place and that's like the whole thing of the game is you going around completing quests as Patrick to get basically circus tickets to do the last quest but there doesn't seem to be any kind of saves management so you can only play the game once unless you get it on PC and use file manager to delete your saves to manually delete your saves to restart the game <coughs> which does not seem like a good design in my opinion I think you should at Ooh. least have the option to delete your saves manually and restart okay. well I guess it's a $40 kids game I, it could have been $60 they could have been scummy about it like, uh, they also yeah, just made like, SpongeBob still is. it's still, it's it's, shows still live or die by SpongeBob. I think they're, that's why, uh, see, after, probably reached, their, probably reached like Simpsons level, like it's always going to be around. Yeah, it, it it's reached like it's there's no no the only show that came close was called The Loud House, which was about a boy with like ten sisters. Was the plot like he's just got a lot of different sisters and they each have a very flat personality, but they all built up to being one very third dimensional family. It was a very it was a very nice cartoon for a season or two, and uh, then it began to rot, which sadly happens to a lot of modern Nick cartoons. They start out good and then just start to immediately mold them. Is the Children's Network, uh, Nickelodeon usually only ran its cartoons for about three years because they figured the audience would age out. It's like... And I think also, it probably kept the cost of the fucking shows down because, oh man, we can't pay you Avatar money. You haven't done Avatar numbers yet, but then they... They don't you know, Avatar... Do I don't care. Avatars are not. It's SpongeBob. It's like if you're not in that child in the the family-ish, like because Avatar is very centered towards like teenage boys. Not like it was enjoyed by a lot of people, but it did have a sp very specific target audience. Where SpongeBob was like your old '90s style of cartoon that was like, yeah, there's this. A curse word joke, a sex joke, prostitution jokes. Like, yeah, you the yeah. children won't understand it, but the parents will find it funny because it's a reference to, like, some I 80s movie. I think Avatar was. I don't know, man. Avatar caught you guys at a very young age. I think it works more than just saying it's like an adult. I like... I I wasn't like. It's more for the teenage, like the. Uh, like the mature child, like 13 to. Let's say 12 and up. Yeah, yeah, 12 and up is good. Like, almost. I think that's fair. Almost Cartoon Network, kind of like what their main yeah, audience is. It was the most Cartoon Networky of Nick shows, you know. But yeah, Cartoon Network's always been like the experimental and the the mature, like trying to be groundbreaking. Clean early and, teen. Uh, yeah, like trying to audience for the after school section when fucking Nick was going more elementary school. Yeah, I would watch Lego Chima before school on Cartoon Network and come home and watch like Dexter, uh, like in reruns because there was the always have reruns. They always have Teen Titans Go too, which I'm. I, I hate the fact that I like that show. Like it's it's honestly yeah, not it a bad like show. They had a really, they had a really good Titan Teen Titan show, and then they made Teen Titan Go, and that other really good one, never really like. I think he could have went eight seasons with that shit. Like it was Batman the Animated Series. 
See, I think I think that was too edgy at the time for Cartoon Network. Probably. Like, just Probably. too too like they weren't quite the mature church channel yet. They were still like, whoa, there we need. This is a D. This is DC. They expect the Boy Scout in blue tidies and such, not anime girls singing about murder. Or however you describe the. I feel like Teen Titans show. Teen Titans Go is like. It has the Spongebob effect, where, like, every... Like, it started decent. Like, Spongebob started good. Teen Titans Go started okay. But every once in a while, there's, like, a genuinely solid, good, like, diamond in the rough. Like, a solid piece of art surrounded by all the wrapping paper. Like, I'd, I'd oh, almost I say... I'm gonna call it here at the boat map though. Oh. Okay. Alyssa, I dinner's almost done. Ooh. Nard wants outside. Fucking they're gonna yeah, be we... getting ready to play their game before long. Dude, I'm excited. I won uh, it I know you don't care about this, but last year I lost a big ten title game to planes and then I turned around and won the Natty. And then me and Planes uh, met in the Big Ten title again, and I took him out. And we were on a crash course to meet each other on the way for the Natty. And then I went around fucked up and got beat out for the round right before we would have met each other. But he ended up taking on the computer, and now he's going to play in the Natty against uh, another player. I mean, it, it sounds... Uh... Like you're, you're, you all do like different teams and such. Like it. Yeah, it's yeah. very I'm interesting how State, football he's... games have. Well, I've been playing dynasty modes for twenty plus years. I first started playing them on a Sierra Sports game called uh, Front Page Sports, and then it got added to Madden. The dog was outside. You want to see if he's ready to come in? Thank you, babe. You look nice in that. I kind of... But, uh... I, li I like... Because it's not just getting out there with, like, the Kansas City Chiefs and playing a game against your friends. Like, I gotta recruit players. I have to, you know, uh... <laughs> coach. Like, I'm in the middle of make... Like, while I'm watching the game tonight, I'm gonna be watching their playbooks for plays I might like and steal them. <laughs> No, it's more than just keep eyes on their defense planes. so you can counter attack. Yep, especially with planes because uh, we're both in the Big Ten, and then one guy's in the SEC and one guy's in the uh, Big Twelve. I know, I know some of them like like uh, Ohio's big top. Ten, right? Uh, they're number two, yeah. Um, Ohio State is what they call a perennial powerhouse. Um, Mission begins in 30 seconds. They've had like less than ten losing seasons in the last hundred years. Like they're always good. But I didn't know that when I was a kid, and you know, growing up not too far from Columbus, watching the games or listening to them on the radio. Mission begins in 10 seconds. But. Four, three, two, one. Hey, dinner's done. Alyssa just brought me a plate. Uh, I think I'm, I'm going to call it here, too. All right. For anyone still. Oops. For those who watched, thanks for watching. For those who didn't, where were you? <laughs> Thank you. For anyone in my chat right now, thank you for being here. I I plan to do somewhat longer streams than this, usually, honestly.
I usually go for about two hours when I stream. I think I think th three is a good. Like, That's what most people say. It's like, just, I uh, just you know, I'm I'm trying to make it to where I can get subs and emotes and stuff. I want to become a partner, mm -hmm. make a little money. Well, the best I can say. I, I don't also know, I want emotes. Like, I make like fifty bucks every three four months, but um, consistency. If you're gonna do three hours, do three hours every Wednesday on the dot, and then kind of expand from there. But just like pick a day, because that's what's killing me right now. I haven't been consistent in like two months, and my um, viewership we went from a decent. Yeah. 